work is over. That was fun. <laughs> so I've got less than 20% left on my battery and it's almost 3.30. So I'm going to go ahead and take it to the house. But I need to run in here and get a gallon of water. I need to go ahead and just get two of them. Because we've been drinking water so much lately, which is a good thing. Um, but me buying one gallon isn't working. So I need to go ahead and get two gallons of water. And uh, that is it. And then I'm going to go home. I did stop and get my little frappe today. I redeemed some points. I had a total of 8,000 something points. So for the frappe, it's 4,500 points. So I got that earlier and I still have some left. But these are pretty good, y'all. y'all good morning it is thursday girl why do it feel like it's supposed to be the weekend already is it just me anyways so i'm starting my day off at the gas station y'all i needed to get some gas and for some reason i just started having like a random thought y'all i have random thoughts all the time so instead of sitting here talking to myself i figured i would just say it to you guys but Y'all, I was thinking about my baby, Libby Poo, and um, how she gave me such a hard time the day before, well, the night before last, y'all. She did not want to go on this field trip at the school yesterday, and it wasn't really like a field trip to like a museum or anything. Where they went yesterday morning was to the high school that she's going to be going to, so they took a tour they took all the eighth graders over to the high school to do a tour and to talk about the classes that they'll be engaged in and you know all the things dealing with high school olivia did not want to go on that trip child she was mad she called herself being mad at me right um because she wanted to stay home and i was like girl no child i didn't even know that the field trip was yesterday she got the permission slip for her to ride the bus to the school with the other kids so basically they was gonna have to go anyways but what they were letting me know was hey the kids are gonna be riding the bus and we need you to sign this paper saying that you're acknowledging that your child is riding the bus to the high school if i didn't sign the permission slip then i would basically have to pick her up from school take her to the high school so she could do the tour and then pick her up after the tour or either stay at the school with her and then take her back to school because they weren't there but for a couple of hours so they still had a whole school or another half of a school day left child she did not want to go to school and i'm like girl you gotta go to school i can't just keep you home for no reason keep in mind y'all she just missed a lot of days y'all know she had the flu so before i actually took her to the doctor she had missed a day of school and then the day I took her to the doctor and then two days after that. So I think she went back on the 15th, the day after Valentine's. Well, that upcoming week, which was last week, they were on winter break. So, girl, stay home for what? Go to school. But, yeah, child was just sitting here thinking about um, that situation and how she kind of remind me of myself when I was in school. I try to encourage 
Olivia to do to be active um and do certain things that I would think well kids used to love to do nowadays they really into like the internet gaming stuff like that but like you know going to the YMCA and all these different things that happen and she just it's not that girl y'all she just doesn't want to she don't want to do it she had already told me her spring break is in April, right? She's already let me know that she's going to be with me, that she hanging with me. And I'm like, okay, girl, you don't want to do nothing. Like, you don't want to. Girl, all she want to do is deliveries. So, I'm going to try my best to um sneak in like a skate day or something. Take her skating for a couple hours during her spring break or something like that. Uh, we'll have to see because last summer we didn't get to do anything it was a stressful year last year and I found myself working a lot so even though she was with me we didn't do a lot of you know we didn't go swimming we didn't do anything really so yeah child Libby ain't trying to do nothing I'm trying to talk her into doing this summer summer program um that the school uh district is having like it's where you can sign your kids up it's kind of like summer camp almost but with some learning involved girl i tried to get her to do it last year she didn't want to do it i'm trying to get her to sign up for it this year you know I'm trying to get her to let me sign up for it this year and the reason i'm saying that is because livia child y'all i hate you you hate when your kids get upset with you right and i've never been the type of parent that Unless it's something important, I never force her to do things that she's not feeling, right? Um, because I know how that is. When you're a kid and you, you're forced to do a sport or something. Well, I don't know how that is because my parents never forced me to do anything. They were always motivating and encouraging when I did decide to do something, which wasn't much, y'all. So that's how I'm saying Olivia kind of remind me of me. Because that's how I was in school. I didn't really... I tried to be involved in stuff, but I didn't really care to be. Like, I never was, like, the groupish, cliquish type person. Like, I always kind of stayed to myself. I think the only thing that I actually did for a little while and stuck with it longer than anything else, there was this group called WWJD, What Would Jesus Do? And it was just a group of people that went to the school, and we met up early in the morning, you know, in the morning before classes start to talk about the Bible and God. And I mean, that was pretty much the only activity that I stuck with the longest um, outside of like school stuff. Cause that wasn't necessarily a school type of group or anything. That was just something one of the students put together and it was a word of mouth type of thing. So anyway, but you know, although I did try to play sports and stuff, I never really stuck with it. The rule in my household growing up was I could do whatever I wanted to do as long as I kept my grades up. Well, the only reason I didn't complete any sports besides basketball, I actually got cut from the team, but volleyball and all that, um, I played a little bit, but my grades either fell or I just didn't want to do it anymore. But yeah, so Olivia reminds me of me in that way. So y'all, I'm trying to get her. I'm, I'm a homebody too, so I get it, but I'm trying to get her to not be like me. I'm trying to get her to be better than me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So when I get some information from her school or I come across something online, I ask her about it, try to fill her out a little bit to see, you know, if she gets excited about it or if it's not something she's into. Because if it's not, if, if it's something she's not into, she'll just tell me no flat out. She'll just tell me no. Like, that's one thing I can't say about Olivia. She ain't finna lie to you. She sometimes have a hard time with just keeping her opinion her opinion but she'll just she just straight up you know what i'm saying if she want to do it if she don't want to do it she don't want to do it and that's how she was about this field trip she just didn't want to do it but this was one of those times where she didn't have a choice right <laughs> <laughs> and so even with that i tried to motivate her a little bit like girl you gonna go see you know, get a tour of the school, see where you're going to be going next year, yada, yada, yada. You know, try to make it a little fun. You know, even until yesterday morning, she was still in her little mood. But she went, though. <laughs> All right, y'all. Random thought.
Hey y'all, so quick dinner, it's Friday night. The power went off for a little while. There was a little bit of a power outage. And so I didn't bother cooking anything. There was no point. It's almost eight o'clock. Um, so ran to the store real quick to get some pizza. Dinner is under $10. The Red Baron is on sale right now for $3.99 or $2.99. So I got two of the special deluxe pizzas. And then this bag of salad was $2.99 as well. So total came to like $9 and some change. Saturday morning, just completed another Target shop and pay. So, about to drop it off. They had 11 items, all grocery items. So, it all worked out. All right, y'all. So, we're just going to do like a little quick haul here in the car because I didn't get a whole lot. I did get the cards, but my mom watches the channel. So, I'm not going to show y'all what her cards look like. And then, of course, I got one for the hun for our anniversary. But we don't have any more trash bags. So for the sake of the budget, I just bought these. There's five in here. Um, it's the Febreze game. So got those. So this will carry us for, what, the next two, three days. We accumulate a lot of trash, y'all. I don't know why, <laughs> but we be having trash full bags almost every day. Man. Found some nail polish remover because y'all look at my nails. I don't even like them. This is the color. Uh, oh shoot, there wasn't even a name. It was numbers, but it's a gel color. It looked like it was kind of like a cream color when I picked it up. But on my nails in natural lighting, girl, so ugly. I don't like them. And they they started like cracking and stuff. So. Found some nail polish remover. They finally stocked up. So the luxury um, nail polish remover strengthening with vitamin E and panthenol for strong nails. So that's why I haven't taken this off yet because I don't have any nail polish remover. And it's so thick. I tried to like scrape it off with my nail, but it's not happening. Olivia needed some more facial serum. So she got the Willow Bark and Honey this time. And this is the Bolero brand, so she got that. And then I'm low on antibacterial. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and get like the refillable bottle in here um, versus at the Kroger, which I do have to go over to Kroger, by the way, because they have, I need dish soap. They have palm olive on sale for $1.50. And I need to grab a, another thing of uh, toilet paper because I think we're down in like a one or two rolls and some paper towels um wait i thought there was another mm -hmm. is there another wasn't there another bag yeah because i feel like i'm missing something no, it's really this ain't it it's not oh it is i just didn't pull everything out because i didn't want to show the cards the last thing is these nails I haven't put on the nails from Timu just yet, but these are so cute. And when I used to go get my nails done all the time, this is kind of the style that I would get because it's classy, it's simple, and it goes with whatever outfit. This is just the French. So if you guys see this, pick it up. They had a bunch of them. I've never seen them before. This is Helois. I'll just do this right here, y'all, because y'all know my pronunciation with words be kind of awesome sometimes, but...